working from home, how has that really impacted your communications with your teams? One of the things that I did very early on in the pandemic to kind of con keep up this um, engagement with my reps was I scheduled a 9 a.m. call every day with my team and just level sets for the day, right? How are things going? Are there questions you guys have? I provide updates for the day. Thing to add is that um, calendar invites, you know, just putting a placeholder on your manager's calendar is very important. Um, as we know, you know, work from home does get busy with your personal life and, you know, things going on around your house. So you always want to make sure that, you know, you have something on the calendar. Is there something, a topic or, or a problem or something worth actually putting time on the calendar versus just like, oh, let me slack them this one off question or something like that. Like, where do you kind of find that balance of like what's worth like actually putting time on a calendar and grabbing 30 minutes versus, oh, I can maybe talk to them about this through Gchat or through Slack. When like you want to talk to your manager about expectations uh, and maybe you're struggling or not, they're struggling to meet those expectations. I think I would like to get a calendar invite on that. Um, and, and it also is who Sifa mentioned an email as well to kind of highlight some of the things that have been going on and then we can kind of discuss it. I think it's just a better for like, you know, problem, better problem solving mechanism to get on like a Google chat and talk face to face. The things that I meet with my reps about are, you know, we're doing role plays, we're doing, um, you know, call shadowing, um, we're learning something, we're trying to develop we're sharing information on a particular topic that we've agreed to meet on regularly. I think it's more anything strategic, anything that involves your direct day to day, I think will be a time for a meeting versus a Slack opportunity with a manager. So that's from my pers from a manager's perspective, that would be. What does your specific manager that you work with do that's helpful in terms of communication? Yeah, so my manager does a good job of doing morning syncs every morning, but what I like about his morning syncs is that they have a different category every time. So it's not the same as like, well, how are your calls going? How are your connects going? But it's actually like, he'll do one morning um, objection handling. Uh, well, he'll do like a weekly stand up where um, we, we go through our objections, our connects, how everything's going. Um, and then he'll do, uh, he used to do when we, we did a guest speaker every morning, which was pretty awesome. I got a lot out of that. And it, it helped me grow as, a, as an inside sales rep in the uh, project. Uh, but he also sets up one-on-ones and what I like about the one-on-ones he sets up like what we're going to speak about uh, within them and a lot of them I like those one-on-ones because it's like it's more personal and I can let him know like what's been going well with me what hasn't and we can kind of problem solve from there what is like one big piece of advice that you would give to a new rep starting at demand drive starting remote um, what's the best way for them to kind of immerse themselves into our company and, and to stay, um, you know, to stay in touch with, with their teammates. One advice that I did, uh, get from my manager is just be proactive. That's the only advice I can. And that's like the first thing, if you're proactive, trust me, you can get all your work done. I would put it as ask for help. Demand drive has a really incredible atmosphere of helping and pretty much anybody you reach out to is going to help you. Um, that's just how we are. 